If you have not already read my essay, Seeing is Believing, then let me tell you what the premise of this whole project is about. As I read through Wallace Stevens' poems, I noticed a very consistent topic. He seemed to be describing the relationship between imagination and reality. Though at times it seemed he was just telling a story, there was a deeper meaning about how these two worlds connected. Wallace Stevens liked to describe how an image in one's mind is always different than how they describe it. And the same goes in reverse. An experience one has in real life does not feel it exactly the same in their memory. In this project, I was assigned to make two connections to artwork, one from Stevens' time period and one from my own. Surprisingly, I found the two perfect pieces that ran right into this topic of imagination and reality. The first was a black and white video I came across, filmed by the American Biograph and Mutoscope Company in 1905. It is titled, Panorama from Times Building New York. Although it might seem quite boring to an audience today, with our TVs and iPods and such, in Wallace Stevens' time, this technology of video was just beginning to emerge and was mesmerizing to viewers everywhere. Then I realized this technology was the new way artists were trying to convey images they were experiencing. Obviously, someone cannot exactly understand what it is like to stand on top of Time's building if they are not there. Most artists before this were limited to literature, photographs, and various types of tangible media like painting and sculpture. One would only be able to see what it was like by reading about it, or seeing a model, or looking at a painting. But it was not until the invention of film the people really became closer to showing what this experience was like without having to actually go there. Like in Wallace Stevens' poem, The Snowman, he talks about how one must have a mind of winter to see all the aspects of the winter landscape. In essence, he is saying that only the only way you can know what it's really like is if you went there yourself. In 13 Ways of Looking at a Blackbird, he talks about how many people have the same experience but interpret it so many different ways in their head. Altogether, Wallace Stevens is saying that it is impossible to have a real experience and then remember it exactly the same way, or show somebody that exact same experience. The second piece of artwork I found is a song written by the band Incubus titled, Wish You Were Here. It is a song about a man relaxing on the beach, experiencing so many different things, like the sand between his toes, the beautiful scene of the ocean and its waves, and even UFOs flying overhead. But sadly, he can't describe exactly how it is, so he resorts to saying, I wish you were here. Just like in Stevens' poem, The Snowman, again, Incubus is saying that it is impossible to describe an experience to somebody, so you must be there yourself to know what it's like. Just as well, anybody who hears this song can have a different image in their head about the ocean, the sand, or the UFOs. But finally, the last poem I analyzed is in the essence the reason between, behind these pieces of artwork. In Stephen's poem, A Postcard from the Volcano, he gives us a scenario of children picking up bones. The key meaning behind this story is that the children cannot experience what these bones had experienced long ago. For example, how fast they could run, or what it was like to breathe in cold air. They simply couldn't, because they had nothing left behind for them to experience. And this is where Wallace Stevens' point comes home. All artists need to convey the images and experiences in their head to the rest of the world. Because if they don't, and they die, then these, experience, these experiences will be lost forever. And nobody would be able to know what it is like. Like to hike Mount Everest, or dive miles below the ocean, or go out in space, or for that matter, stand on top of Time's building. This relationship between imagination and reality may be pretty tough to overcome, but by filming and painting and writing, at least some of these wonderful experiences that individuals have can be shared with the rest of the world.